Well, good morning, everyone. We're here once again with our good friend, Keith Murphy. And I know everybody is talking about what can they do to get themselves out of debt or be able to get to the point of being retired and own your home free and clear. So we're going to talk with Keith this morning. He's going to explain what can you do to accelerate the payoff of your mortgage obligations. the strategies that the average person can implement to be able to accelerate their debt payoff with their mortgage loan. You know, there's different strategies and you and I have talked about those before, but if you would please go through a couple of different screens or whatever you've got to do to be able to show us how the average person can pay off debt and save thousands of dollars in their interest payments. Yeah, fantastic, happy to. Thank you again for having me. And I hope this information can empower others to achieve financial freedom sooner in their lives than uh, the current path that they're on. So as a mortgage advisor, you know, I always believe that, you know, if you get somebody into debt through buying the home, it's your responsibility as a fiduciary to help them get out of the debt as quickly as possible. And one of the easiest ways to do that quicker, uh, sooner versus later, if you will, is through a bi-weekly um, payment system. Now, most people, whether they own a home or not, have heard the word bi-weekly, but not everybody knows what it means. So I'm gonna start there okay. and explain what a bi-weekly payment plan is. Bi-weekly in essence means you're making one half of your mortgage payment every two weeks. So your monthly payment isn't going up, your budget's staying the same. It's just that you are sending in 50% of the principal and interest every two weeks, or uh, the way it works out on a calendar is there's two months of the year where you're actually making three payments. Right. Or at the end of 12 months, you've now made one extra payment per year. It's just a sort of a, a Jedi mind trick, if you will, mm -hmm. because if you get used to writing that check for, let's say your mortgage payment is I'm going, to, I'm going to look at some notes I wrote. Let's say your mortgage payment is 1686, which is the principal and interest portion of a $400,000 mortgage at 3%. So every month in principal and interest, you owe 1686. Well, if you pay half of that every two weeks and just get into that habit, by the end of the year, you will not realize that you've paid three of those bi-weekly payments in two months of the year or one extra payment to year per year. So let me share my so screen basically here. we're looking at there's 52 weeks in a year. And so divide that by two, you're making 26 payments instead of, or excuse me, you're make yeah, you'd be making 26 payments, which would equate to a 13th full payment instead of Correct. only 12. Correct. Okay. So let me share my screen here and just Great. show you and your clients what this looks like. So this is a spreadsheet. Can you see these numbers? Yes. I'm going to blow it up a little bit. Yes, that'd be great. It is a little okay. bit small. That's much better, much better. I'm going to go a little bit, even a little bit bigger here. So as mentioned, if you had a $400,000 loan amount mm -hmm. at an interest rate of 3% fixed for 30 years, and we were closing here in June, your first mortgage payment being due July 1st, mm -hmm. your principal and interest portion of your loan is 1686.42, okay? Okay. And then if you just make that payment every single month for 30 years, you're gonna be debt free. And that is gonna be the interest that you paid for the right to borrow $400,000 from the bank. That's your interest cost. Now. As mentioned, if we take that payment and divide it by two, mm -hmm. it comes down to $140.54 extra per month. So um, I'm going to put in here 140.54. So that's this will basically do, maybe uh, not going to Starbucks for a couple of weeks and maybe not eating out once. That's four dollars and sixty-seven cents a day. So yes, okay. it's it's a happy meal at McDonald's. It's one uh, small, not 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 grande latte at Starbucks a day. 
that people can implement with some fiscal discipline and 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 easily not not even if guaranteed return on investment and if they did that this 140 54 times 12 is equal to that one extra payment of 1686 mm -hmm. so now you're debt free in 26 and a half years versus 30 and the interest you pay is now dropped to 179.982, which is a total savings of $27,000. That's a lot of money, $27,000. And you're debt free. And, you know, a lot of clients, when they see these numbers, they get kind of excited and go, oh my gosh. Well, you know, you, you can do a lot of different things here. You mm -hmm. could maybe round it up to $200 a month. Mm -hmm. Some clients will say, well, gosh, uh, we're going to cut a couple other expenses. We could do $300 a month. In addition to that, instead of when you get your tax refund once a year, why don't you, why don't you throw that into the mortgage? There's so many ways to compound this math and strategies to get you out of debt sooner that this is really just a, a starting point to, to help yes. open people's eyes, right? Yes. And I'll just run a couple numbers. What if instead of 140, you round it up to 200? Well, now you, sh you shaved a little uh, over a year and a half on your loan and saved another 9,000 in interest. Right. Wow. What if, what if you could round it up and say, uh, we're going to commit to an extra $500 a month. We typically get $3,000 a year in our tax refund. 3,000 divided by 12 is 250. So we can definitely add an extra 300, Keith. That's in our budget. That takes your uh, payoff down to 23 years. And then if you threw that one-time payment every year when you get your tax refund, which is an extra 250, now you're really putting 550 per month towards your mortgage. Now you're debt-free in 19 years. Total interest paid is 130,000. And now you saved almost $50,000 in interest. That's now, amazing. Now, I'm gonna take this one step further and anybody who's interested in learning more on these strategies and we can custom tailor them to that client specific budget cash flow needs future income and retirement goals etc here's where i sort of end up blowing people's minds what i'll say is why don't we look at an alternative to the bi-weekly payment let's go back to zero and let's say you stick with your 30 year fixed mortgage and you don't do the bi-weekly. What if you took that same amount of money and put it into a different investment vehicle, which I'm now going to uh, share with you. If you Google Warren Buffett, S&P 500 index fund recommendations, um, you will find that he, I gotta find that website. He believes that any American should be every american should be taking 10 percent of their uh salary pay themselves first yeah which is what the richest man in babylon book is all about everybody who's listening or seeing this should grab that book off of amazon and read it yep. and teach their kids the same principles but basically be before you pay anybody else yes you pay, pay yourself, yourself first right 10 percent off the top mm -hmm. and some people say well I, I can't afford to do that. There's no way I can take an extra 10%. I'm already living paycheck to paycheck. Well, guess what? Um, if the government raises taxes, you're gonna have those higher taxes taken out of your paycheck before you get it. And you're not gonna have to say in the matter and you are gonna figure out a way to do it. So if the government mandates that they're gonna take more of your paycheck, why can't you mandate it to yourself? And the answer is you can, it's just a mindset self-discipline yeah. so back to warren buffett who's one of the greatest investors of all time in fact i i, I saved this in investopia um he has put into his you know will and trust that any assets inherited by his family are to be placed in the s p 500 index because the long-term returns on this etf it's not a mutual fund and I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not giving it financial advice here, but a, a, an S&P 500 index fund or ETF fund is very, very attractive compared to a mutual fund 
which is managed by a human being and they charge you commissions and fees for that skill that they bring to the table. The S&P 500 index fund is managed by, by a computer. They basically buy one share of the 500 largest companies in America every month. It's like dollar cost averaging. And because their fees are low, it's actually 0.03% or three tenths of 1% on the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Because of the low fees, he says right here, the long-term results will be superior than those that can be attained by investors that are investing in their pension fund, whether they're investing with an institution or they're hiring a, a financial manager because of the fees. The fees alone take away from their return. So, right. probably went a little bit too deep there, but it's important to know well, and I think that I want to just stop you real quickly because sure. I was just speaking to a young man who's 19 years old the other day, the, the young man who comes and cleans my pool. And we were talking about the real estate market and investing. And I explained to him, this is not uh, rocket science that's not available to you. This is available to the average person. And I explained, start small, even if you just go and open you know, a, a, an account with Edward Jones or somebody at, for $250 or something. Start somewhere and start doing some research and learn what you can do, even using just little bits every month, every month, every month, paying yourself first. And have those dividends reinvested. Don't get a yes. check in the, in the mail at the end of the year for your dividend income let it compound back into the return. So I ran this chart for 30 years um, and basically went back from where this previous you know, mortgage was starting 30 years back. If you look at the, uh, and this is through the Dow, the Dow uh, mm -hmm. Jones uh, website, mm -hmm. the total return over 30 years through May of 2021 was 8.341%. But with dividends reinvested, the dividend yield right now is about two and a half percent. That's way better than you're earning on your checking account. Right. Two and a half percent interest, right? If you re redeploy those dividends back into your investment, it takes your returns up to ten point four nine two percent. So here's where it gets exciting. Now, I just want to uh, question you real quick. The starting month you've got May of two thousand eleven but you were saying something about 30 years. Sorry. Oh, okay. So yeah, that was right. a... caught me there. <laughs> I so let's see what it does. Uh, May... Uh, 19... 1990, uh, uh, 91? 80, 81? 91. 91. 91, I believe. Let me do my calculator to make sure... <laughs> if you're going to 2021, it would be 1991. Right. So let's go to 1991. So it's interestingly just pretty much the same yes yes 0.3 percent if you just get your dividend check every month or every year or every quarter um if you reinvest it 10.47 percent so let's review this spreadsheet again your mortgage payment for principal and interest is 1686 on this four hundred thousand dollar loan at three percent and again if you're doing a bi-weekly payment it's just a mind, a Jedi mind trick. What you're actually doing is just making one extra payment per year, right? Yes. So if we skipped this bi-weekly strategy and we put it into a, a Vanguard S&P 500 index fund, and by the way, anybody that's seeing this, if you would like to know how, how do I do that, uh, connect with Kelly Nelson. She'll get you my contact information. And I have a white paper and I can show you how to do this on your own. You don't have to pay anybody. It's very, very easy. My 19-year-old uh, son is doing it and um, I can show you how to do that, you know, at no cost. So we take this input. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger too. And we start, we're starting today, day one with no dollars. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of one year, you deposited sixteen eighty six and forty eight cents into this fund. Yes. And you did that every single year. The same strategy as the biweekly, 
over 30 years with dividends reinvested at that 10.4 percent mm -hmm. you're going to have three hundred and thirty six thousand four hundred eleven dollars in your account which that far outstretches that that interest savings the interest savings to reflect back was twenty seven thousand dollars and you right. shaved three and a half years off your loan right in this strategy you're obviously yeah. uh, a much wealthier family by, by doing so. And we can get into this on another YouTube, Kelly, okay. but I'm showing your clients. Okay, now that we know this is a better way to put to deploy your capital, it's a better return on capital, it's gonna make you wealthier, let's do some fun math and say if we did this, at what point could I withdraw the balance and pay off my mortgage and be debt free right and the answer is it depends on the interest rate it depends on the loan amount but right around 16 years so again bi-weekly is a great way for people to save money save interest and pay off their home early mm -hmm. but if they exercise some out of the box thinking strategies and then actually do them like you said it's about starting and then following through every year with the strategy and not skipping it um, you can have your home paid off in about six, 15, 16, 17, 15 years, somewhere in that range. Um, and then the math gets even more exciting because now it's been say year 17. Right. The debt free, the mortgage is paid off. What if for the remaining 13 years, you took your entire mortgage payment, 1686 and 48 cents times 12, because if you had a 30 year mortgage, you have to pay that check anyways. Right. What if you took that and paid yourself, which is 1686 times um, 12 is $20,237.76. Mm -hmm. What if for the remaining 13 years of your term, you did that 13 years, you would have not only your mortgage paid off, mm -hmm but $566,000 at the end of the same year period. So let's just recap. If you get a 30 year fixed mortgage, and this is again, the difference between a uh, download app, push button, get mortgage commodity based mortgage strategy or sitting um, with a loan officer that just quotes you rates and payments versus a mortgage advisor who has a fiduciary uh, interest and responsibility in helping you be better off, become more wealthy and debt-free in the future. That's the difference between the two. And so you could have family A who didn't get this advice, got their $400,000 loan and 30 years later, what do they have? Mm -hmm. the deed, a, deed, a deed of trust on their home, they own the house free and clear and their bank balance is zero versus somebody who deployed the same strategy um, has $566,000 in their account at the end of the same 30 year period. So life changing um, strategies here that can really help people gain financial freedom, which is really truly what I'm trying to do in my mortgage practice is to empower your clients, empower everybody who's watching that yes. there are simple strategies that people like Warren Buffett uh, highly recommend that he has his own children and family. Even the Berkshire Hathaway Fund invests a large percentage of their portfolio in the S&P 500 index fund because it's just a no brainer to get this kind of return almost guaranteed um, with low, low fees. Everybody should be um, looking into this type of strategy. Oh, that's just wonderful, Keith. I appreciate it so much. You know, the power of compounding interest, Ben Franklin said, most people, what most people fail to understand is the power of compounding interest. And this is the prime example of it and how it can help the average person be able to build some wealth for themselves. And, you know, hey, let's face it, you know, money isn't everything, but I always tell my kids, but life is a lot easier with money than without it. So, um, you know, these are just some, you know, it's, it's great. It's, you know, you can, you can gamify it for yourself if you like. I know, you know, for kids, that's, that's kind of one of their things. I mean, hey, 
every time you're instead of you know you're driving by Starbucks you were gonna stop you know what go on your app and send some money into your Vanguard account or whatever your investment uh, portfolio is and and do that instead and pay yourself and Absolutely. watch that savings grow yeah a couple couple last takeaways here for everyone uh, Google rule of 72 and read some articles on the rule of 72 so you can see what Kelly's talking about with the power of compounding. Uh, yeah, Ben Franklin called it the seventh wonder of the world. Yes. Most Americans, like 95 to 97% of all Americans aren't utilizing this free compounding interest strategy in their lives. They're doing the opposite. They're charging up their credit cards and paying all their extra cash flow in the form of interest to the banks to purchase things that they shouldn't be purchasing until they have the, the money in their wallet. If you mm -hmm. delay gratification, stay out of debt, have a little bit of extra every month and then deploy these strategies, it can change your life. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with this, Kelly. What if you got your arms around these strategies you bought a house, instead of doing the bi-weekly, you went through the uh, investing into the ETF. When you see that math on paper, it's pretty compelling. Now, what if you want to do some house hacking and say, okay, we've been in our house now for a year deploying this strategy. Now the rents in our neighborhood have risen to a point where someone else could make my mortgage payment. What if we took a little bit of money out of that account that's been building and bought another house? And what if you had a strategy to do that once every year or once every two years so that in 10 years you have five or 10 rental properties? This math, just like with the rule of 72, compounds within itself. And I have a family. Um, I'll keep their names, I guess, out for privacy purposes. They started with me with a notebook and a calculator and an open mind and no property under their belt. 13 years later, I just talked with him. He has uh, a whole portfolio of properties, duplexes, triplexes, single family residences. Amazing. And right now, it's just been 13 years, they could cash in all their chips if they so wanted to and put $8 million in the bank and live on an island for the rest of their life. But they're not gonna do that because they understand the power of this compounding is gonna create a family legacy. We look at what they're going to look like in another 20 years mm -hmm. and their net worth based upon the trajectory and compounding they've already seen for 13 they're going to be worth well over 30 million dollars and here's the best part because the rent inflation has now increased over this decade and their payments have stayed low and we've refinanced them since into even lower rates mm -hmm. their net after all expenses cash flow is over 10 grand a month oh my so goodness eight million dollars in net worth ten thousand dollars in positive cash flow they're still working because they right. again they understand every single day we make a dollar and put it into this and wait for the power of compounding to do its magic it's so exciting once again i mean you're just uh such a guru of information and i really appreciate the fact that you're willing to share all of your knowledge and be able to help educate people. We're just always trying to educate. And if we can help any one person, it'll be so worth this time. I so appreciate you. Absolutely. Agreed 100%. And you're welcome. It's an honor to be here with you, Kelly. I love what we're doing to help, help yeah. our clients. Um, and if anybody wants to get a hold of me, just go to go team Murphy dot com or Great. connect with Kelly and she'll get you my contact information Absolutely. and you can set up a one on one Zoom strategy to help you uh, with a strategy at no cost, no pressure, but help you with a strategy. Even if you're already a homeowner and you're not looking to purchase a home right now or refinance a home, you just want some of this advice custom tailored to, to your needs, uh, reach out. I'm here to help. I love educating and teaching. It's um, it's fun. So yes, have a great day, Kelly. Thank and uh, we'll look too. forward to seeing you here again soon.